بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم تو رویل ایشو آف تر ڈے میں ہوں فروت ملک ناصر نیک ہم آج بات کریں گے ایشو آف تر ڈے میں وزیراعظم سید یوسف عزا گلانی کے سی این این کو دیئے گئے ایک انٹرویو پر اس پر ہم اس ساری صورتحال پر ڈسکشن کریں گے کہ وہاں ان سے جو سوالات پوچھے گئے انہوں نے ان کے کیسے جواب دیئے اور جن میں سب سے زیادہ ہلری کلنٹن کے جو ہم پر لگائے گئے ان کے ذہن میں جو خیالات ہیں وہ ہماری عوام کے سامنے آئے ہیں آئیے ہم اس سی این این کے انٹرویو پر ایک نظر ڈالتے ہیں اور اس کے بعد ہم اس پر ڈسکشن کریں گے یو ایس ٹروپس پٹرولنگ دی والٹائل اور دینجرس افغان پاکستان بورڈر سٹمپنگ آؤٹ آل قائیڈا اور آدھر ملٹن گروپس ہیر اس سین از ایوائٹل پارٹ آف دی فائٹ اگنسٹ ٹیرورزم پاکستان میں بھی ایک کی یو ایس آلائی The relationship is far from harmonious. Washington is not convinced Pakistan is doing enough to tackle terrorism on its patch. That lack of trust isn't the only blot on this crucial relationship. Pakistan is calling for an end to US drone strikes on its territory, the latest suspected strike just four days ago. At home, Pakistan is facing a barrage of problems, a faltering economy, widespread poverty and corruption. The man tasked with helping to steer the country through troubled times, Prime Minister Yusuf Ghilani. His position and government are under threat. Last month, Pakistan's Supreme Court convicted the Prime Minister of contempt for refusing to reopen corruption proceedings against the President Asif Ali Zadari. Critics said Ghilani would struggle to remain Prime Minister. There was even talk of another coup. But Yusuf Ghilani, so far, remains in power. In most other countries around the world, if a politician, never mind a prime minister, is convicted of a crime, if only on moral grounds, he would resign, will you? According to uh, my assessment and according to most of the parliamentarians and even all the coalition partners, they think that whatever I have done, it's according to the constitution. I ask the question again, will you resign? Uh, if, yes, I, no? if I'm disqualified. If I'm disqualified, notified by the speaker, uh, yes, I have, the, uh, I have to. Who is running the country in your absence? In fact, according to the constitution in my country, I have a cabinet and everybody is working under the prime minister. I ask about who's running the country because it is important to the likes of, for example, Hillary Clinton, that they know that somebody is in charge. Clinton has said that Pakistan needs to do more to fight global terrorism. To quote her, She said, we look to the government to do more. We need to make sure its territory is not being used as a launching pad for terrorist attacks anywhere. Your response? We had uh, an excellent uh, cooperation in the intelligence and uh, with the ISI and the CIA and all high-value targets in the world of Al-Qaeda. They have been achieved through the cooperation of CIA She and ISI. She says the Al-Qaeda chief I'm, is I'm, in I'm, Pakistan, I'm, I'm, is he? I'm, I'm, I'm coming to this point. And when we have achieved all high-value targets jointly, if there is any credible or uh, actionable information, please share with us. Why haven't you arrested Hafiz Saeed, thought to be the mastermind behind the attacks in Mumbai in 2008? We are waiting for some concrete uh, uh, sort of uh, information and evidence. The states seem to believe that there is enough evidence to suggest that the Al-Qaeda leader is in Pakistan. Look me in the eye and tell me what more you need. If there is any credible, actionable information, please share with us because we are already working with you. Mm. My I ISI is working with CIA. What else you, do you want? Quite frankly, the CIA don't trust the ISI anymore. That's a trust deficit from both sides. That's not the case of uh, United States alone. This is also from Pakistan as well. There was a trust deficit on both sides, the CIA and the ISI. No, that is a trust deficit between both the countries, between both the governments. That is the reason we are uh, wanting to want to work for a new terms of en engagement and cooperation with the United States. Given Pakistani perceived lack of will, and this is coming from the states, to fight terrorists on home soil. Is it no surprise that the U.S. continues to launch drone attacks inside your country? I, we always take uh, drones as counterproductive 
and uh, it's not lawful. So what do you say to Hillary Clinton when you hear her line, we look to the government to do more? What are you doing? I think now it's at the time that they should do more. In a Gallup poll released within the last year, less than one third of Pakistanis have confidence in national government, in local police, or the honesty of elections. 81% see their government as rife with corruption and only 20%, one in five, approve of their national leaders, you being one of those. This is a damning indictment, Prime Minister, of what is, let's be frank, a dysfunctional society. Either you say democracy or you should say dictatorship. Mm -hmm. And if you want to go for a democracy, then you have to respect the will of the people. A third of Pakistanis want to leave the country. That's what the latest Gallup poll says. And why don't they leave then? Who is stopping that? ناظرین یوں لگتا ہے کہ یوسف ازا گنانی سزا یافتہ ہونے کے بعد حواس باختہ ہو گئے ان کا مظاہرہ آپ دیکھ رہے تھے سی این این کی معروف اینکر پرسند بیلی اینڈرسن سے وہ ایک انٹریویو میں بتا رہے تھے موصوفہ پوچھ رہی تھی ان سے کہ پاکستان میں حد سے بڑھتی ہوئی کرپشن بدمنی کے باعث بیس فیصد لوگ پاکستان چھوڑ کر بیرون ملک جانا چاہتے ہیں تو جواب میں گلانی صاحب نے فرمایا کہ جاتے کیوں نہیں انہیں کس نے روکا ہے کی جا سکتی ہے وزیاظم یوسف ازا گلانی کے اس جواب پر کہ اس بدھ سے عشق کیجئے لیکن کچھ اس طرح پوچھے کوئی تو صاف مکر جانا چاہیے آئیے دیکھتے ہیں گلانی صاحب کیسے مکرے یہ میرے کرم فرماؤں نے یہ بات کی ہے اس کا سوال جو تھا وہ ڈیفرنٹ تھا جواب ڈیفرنٹ تھا انہوں نے مجھ سے کہا کہ پاکستان is a fail state اور اس fail state میں کوئی رہنا نہیں چاہتا میں نے کہا کہ پاکستان is not a fair state, it is a successful state اور اگر اس کونٹیکس میں fair state کے بہانے کو جانا چاہتا ہے تو چلا جائے اسی پہ کچھ مزید بات کریں گے ایک شورٹ پریک کے بعد جسٹے ویڈاز